Good morning. I am so happy to have you join me for one of my morning studio sessions. This morning, we're going to paint a loose floral in one of my sketchbooks. This one happens to be a watercolor Arteza sketchbook. Let's begin by activating the watercolors. We're using this water bottle that sprays mist to activate them. For watercolors, we're using one of my handmade watercolor palettes that has watercolors from various handmade makers. I'd love for you to follow along. I'll be sharing the colors I'm using, but you can use any colors you have available. Let's begin with a really loose pencil outline of the floral and leaf elements that we want to include. We're using a light wash HB Derwent sketching pencil. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button. I started a 30 day art challenge this month with my friend Ange, 30 days of watercolor florals. I've started most of them with a pencil sketch since I'm painting objects that are outside of my comfort zone with mixed florals and botanical elements. For the large floral, we're using this beautiful Italian yellow earth from Poems About You. Let's begin in the center of the circle sketch and work our way towards the outer edge using C brush strokes. We're using an eight round Princeton Newton brush. This is a relatively new brush to me. I've been using the 12 and I got this one to try a smaller round brush. I love to use really large round brushes for really loose florals. How about you? What is your favorite brush to use? Let me know in the comments below if you have a favorite brush size or brand that you like to use. This is one of my favorite colors to use for leaves. It's Forest from Playful Pigment. It has a big dimple in the pan, so you know I use it often. I'll share links to everything I'm using down below in case you're interested in checking out some of the products and adding them to your supplies, as well as supporting some amazing handmade makers. If you have a favorite handmade watercolor maker, please share them with me. I love exploring new materials and supporting small businesses, as well as finding new colors to love along the way. If you want to see more of what I'm working on or things that I'm currently loving and exploring, follow me on Instagram, where I share daily peeks at what I'm working on in the studio. Now let's use Evergreen to add some more leaves around our large yellow rose. I love to pair forest and evergreen. They work really well together as botanical elements. We're going to add three smaller roses to the bottom of this loose floral composition using pink shells from Design by Rachel Beth. I have a couple of her watercolor sets and they're just beautiful color combinations. I love to add elements in a set of three. I just think that it's a beautiful arrangement on a page and it adds a lot of visual interest. We're going to work in smaller C brush strokes like the ones we used for the large yellow rose, starting from the center. To the bottom right of our small three roses, we're going to add a stem of small leaves in a symmetrical pattern using the forest green we used before. Now let's add in another leaf to frame the bottom of our three roses using Azo Green from Poems About You. These are going to be smaller to match the size of our small roses.
Let's add in some softer background leaves to fill out our floral composition using a 12 round brush for looser leaves. We're using foam from designs by Rachel Beth from the Latte Date Collection. Using these colors makes me want to drink coffee while watercoloring, but on various occasions, I've confused my water cup and coffee mug. Has this ever happened to you? To add some details to some of our leaves, let's switch to the smaller round brush using spruce from Hydrocolor. It's a gorgeous shimmer watercolor. Have you ever used shimmer or metallic watercolors? I love to use them to add some extra magic to a painting. Taking advantage that we have some spruce on the brush, let's add clusters of small dots throughout the floral arrangement. Now, to finish this loose floral watercolor, let's add a bit of splatter. One of my favorite watercolor details. I just love the texture it adds to any piece. This is Canary, one of my favorites from Hydrocolor. It's a shimmer and yellow. Yellow is my absolute favorite color. What is one of your favorite watercolor techniques that you find yourself coming back to time and again? And that completes our loose floral watercolor. Did you have fun? I did, and I hope you did too. Until next time, bye.